There's no cool factor. There's no vibe. If I would put that on my wrist, I would feel a wee bit embarrassed. And that's sad. I genuinely believe they should be repositioning their brand. But who am I? The younger generation is what is needed to save this brand. And if you don't speak to a younger generation, you have a problem. Sexting and stuff, and they'll like send a picture of a penis. I can't Sexting. think of anything more threatening to send a woman than a picture of a penis. <laughs> like. In terms of like sexy, it's like just a rung below like a picture of your. And would I like to ask a picture of their penis? <laughs> Listen, I travel a lot. I love it with a funny photo. Like I mean, whatever. Looks like Panerai to be honest. White down. Looks like a Pam 003. I don't know. That's the only Panerai with that lugs and the white down like that. They were really cool. Like I mean, I would still, I still have this idea, this bucket list Panerai watch that I, I would like to own at some point. But I'm a wee bit embarrassed about the brand itself, to be honest. But it is what it is. And then is this the new movie, The Deadpool Wolverine? Yeah. And they brought out two watches. You know what the thing is, right? I'm a big Casio fan and G-Shock fan, and I've, I think that you, I, and the team and everyone has put Casio definitely on the map. They were already on the map, but we brought them to another level. Yeah. I hate the f people at Casio. They never. F reached out. They never f wanted to talk, but their watches are cool, so there you go. And if there's someone new that's taking over Casio, you need to do something, put in the comments and send them a DM on Instagram. Reach out to Nico Leonard now.